Hi. Today's December 27th. Um, we just got really sad at the hospital today. And uh, I was recalling back the day that we went into the hospital on Saturday. Um, when we came in, we actually had the thought that um, I had, uh, my body was rejecting the blood transfusion that I had gotten the day before. Um, uh, so that was the main reason we went to the hospital. We went there and um, just right off the bat they said that that wasn't what was going on. Um, and uh, um, at least at that point in my mind, I probably should have been released just off the bat. You know, that wasn't it, you're fine, you can go home now. Um, but uh, they they kind of, they decided to, to hold me really quickly when they saw my blood results. Um, my hemoglobin levels, um, uh, uh, my blood levels were very low, really, really low. Um, and it had them panic. Um, uh, I didn't think much of it. I knew they were low. I knew they were very low. Um, and I knew why they were low. Uh, uh, I have, uh, I just started saying, well, that's completely normal. I have Schwartz syndrome. I have lupus. I'm receiving cytoxin, which is a chemotherapy, and, and I'm receiving dialysis three, three days a week. Um, uh, so I just kind of made that list in my mind, and I figured, what's the big deal? Uh, my hemoglobin levels are low. Um, but uh, um, uh, since then, I, I, I'm, I realized that I tend to I tend to sometimes glaze over some of the facts of my health um, with the intent of holding a, a positive outlook. Um, so I thought I'd uh, do this little entry talking about the facts, about just what we're really dealing with as a whole in my, um, with my health, uh, besides the fact that I have a kidney failure or sometimes in conjunction with the fact that I have kidney failure. Um, uh, a year, about a year and a half ago, maybe, maybe two years, I was diagnosed with something called Schwartz syndrome, um, which is a, uh, it's an autoimmune disease that essentially has your body attack itself. Um, and it, uh, it manifests itself in lots of different ways. In my body, it, it, it looked like a, um, a, an extreme rapid decay of teeth um, uh, to the point that sometimes I eat bread and, um, and the tooth would chip. Um, uh, I've dealt with that problem since, but um, that was one of the biggest issues. Um, uh, also is uh, dry eyes um, uh, and uh, joints, rheumatoid arthritis specifically. Um, in March, I went to the to the emergency room with some lung pain, um, uh, and it, they had decided that the lung pain was somehow related to the subordinates, but what more importantly had happened was at that point, I finally started getting medical care for the for the rheumatoid arthritis. I started taking um, uh, something that's referred to as a pregnisone, which is a fairly substantially strong um, a steroid, um, but it controlled my uh, it controlled my my rheumatoid um, significantly, um, which had been at one point so debilitating that I couldn't even put on a shirt, at least not by myself. Um, so um, uh, it didn't solve the issue, but. It, certainly has given me mobility um, back to normal. Um, and um, so um, basically at this point my body is now dealing with, um, with still the Schwartz, Um as we've spoken about before, the lupus that um, has attacked my, uh, my kidneys. Um, um, the whole plethora of, uh, of uh, issues that 
uh, can go along with kidney issues like a, a high blood pressure. Um, and uh, due to the high amount of prednisone that I take, I now also take insulin shots. Um, and um, overall, some of the symptoms that um, show up in just in conjunction with all this is is a low level of uh, energy. Um, again, my hemoglobin levels are low. Um, and uh, um, I just uh, I just have a low amount of energy, um, uh, but um, uh, but yeah. And uh, and as of this weekend, we um, we looked at my lungs and the issue that's going on there. Um, uh, the lungs. It looks like I may have had some sort of um, uh, uh, hmm. pneumonia, pneumonia. Um, uh, but I think another overarching issue that they found was um, for some reason my body is uh, retaining or producing and or whichever is the case uh, fluid at an extremely fast rate um, which is what's causing fluid to to affect my lungs. Um, but uh, uh, again, we just I just wanted to create a list of 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 of, uh, of clarity around just what it is that my body is dealing with now. Not that it's a problem. Not that we can can't resolve it. But um, but it's just what so it's what we're dealing with now. Um, you know, it's just a starting point. So, um, that's it for today, and thank you very much.